Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Japan, a nation historically known for its commitment to peace, has taken a jaw-dropping step that has left the entire world buzzing with curiosity. They have unveiled a game-changing creation, the Godzilla FX, a sixth-generation stealth fighter that is set to rewrite the rules of warfare as the world knows it. The ever-growing regional tensions and emerging threats have prompted Japan to take this unprecedented leap into the future of military technology. But there is a lot more to reveal behind this military innovation. Let's get to know more about Godzilla FX and what it is going to do with the world. Japan's reluctance to build up its military stems from the trauma of World War II, which left a deep aversion to militarism. Its post-war constitution, influenced by the United States, committed the country to a pacifist stance, renouncing the right to wage war or maintain offensive military forces. Japan relied on a security alliance with the United States, and it helped them to focus on economic recovery and development. However, recent developments in the region have prompted Japan to reassess its defense capabilities. China's economic and military growth has taken on a confrontational tone towards Japan. Trade restrictions, cyber attacks, and military provocations have pushed Japan to modernize its aircraft. To cover the security patches, Japan considered purchasing advanced fighters like the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptors. However, the U.S. banned their export, leaving Japan with limited options. As a result, Japan decided to develop its own sixth-generation warplane, Godzilla FX. The Japanese Ministry of Defense did a comprehensive study of combat aircraft technology during 2009 to 2010 and paved a vision for cutting-edge sixth-generation fighter known as the I-3 fighter, representing informed, intelligent, and instantaneous. This next-gen marvel has advanced features, including state-of-the-art radar systems, data processing via flyby optics, stealth technology, gallium nitride semiconductors for enhanced radar performance, and a more potent engine. To bring these concepts to life and refine technical requirements, the ministry developed a unique demonstrator platform, the Mitsubishi X2 Shinshin. The X2 serves as a testing ground for engineers to experiment with various groundbreaking technologies and offers insights for the development of their future fighter jets. Structurally, it follows the sleek design principles of modern fifth-generation fighters like the Lockheed F-22 Raptor. Its dimensions are reminiscent of the Swedish Saab JAS-39 Gripen, with a length of approximately 14 meters and a wingspan of 9 meters. Weighing in at nearly 13 tons, it boasts powerful turbojet engines featuring 3D thrust vectoring systems, endowing it with exceptional maneuverability and supersonic cruising capabilities. One of the most captivating features of the X-2 is its experimental fly-by optics system. This innovation replaces conventional cables with optical fibers, significantly boosting data transmission capacity while fortifying resistance to electromagnetic interference. Micro antennas embedded throughout the airframe analyze radar signals, enabling the X-2 to effectively counteract and suppress radar detection. With its sleek design, standing at a height of 4.51 meters, cropped delta wings and advanced root extensions, it maintains a high angle of attack safely. Two vertical stabilizers on the trailing edges enhance aerodynamics and stealth capabilities. Building on insights from the X-2 Shinshin, the Japanese Ministry of Defense initiated early development of the Mitsubishi FX in 2020. This twin-engine stealth fighter, designed for air superiority, is poised to surpass the F-22 in size, earning it the moniker Godzilla. Its increased dimensions will provide exceptional range and a substantial ordnance capacity, setting the stage for a formidable addition to Japan's defense capabilities. One big focus in the creation of Godzilla is on having an outstanding network and the ability to carry more missiles compared to the F-35. They've been trying out different designs using 3D modeling and special simulation software. Speed, agility, and staying stealthy are the top priorities. To make it more versatile and lighter, the FX will swap out regular hydraulic systems for electric ones and use advanced adhesive molding instead of traditional screws and bolts. For power, it'll rely on two XF9 engines, which can deliver a massive 20 tons of thrust. These engines even have cool three-dimensional thrust vector nozzles to help with maneuvering and staying hidden. Now, when it comes to weapons, 
The FX is packing some serious sensors to take on sneaky enemy aircraft. It's got a fancy radar, a passive radio frequency sensor, and an infrared camera. These sensors are super high-tech, using gallium nitride technology to spot those hard-to-detect targets. Plus, it's got a self-defense system that can mess with radio waves and stop incoming projectiles. The pilot will have a high-tech helmet with a wide view, fancy displays, voice recognition, and 3D sound. The FX's stealth game is strong, too, with all sorts of tricks to lower its radar visibility. It's got serpentine air ducts, an internal weapons bay, and even electromagnetic wave absorbers. There's also a plasma stealth antenna that can deflect radio waves, making it even sneakier. But there's more to stun you. The FX comes with a microwave cannon to mess up incoming missiles and can deploy drones to help out in the sky. These drones help with spotting targets, dropping bombs, and deflecting missiles. If the FX Godzilla lives up to its potential, it could make Japan a big player in the world of military tech and replace their older F-2 jets. Well, the F-2, a crucial asset for the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, JSDF, has a fascinating backstory and played a role in international affairs. At first glance, it may resemble an F-16 on steroids, but a closer look reveals that it's a unique fighter. The JSDF refers to it as a 4 5th generation fighter, which is a fairly accurate description. The concept of a support fighter for the JSDF was conceived in 1977. Unlike multi-role fighters, support fighters were designed for various roles, including anti-ship attacks, ground assaults, close air support, and defense against airborne threats, with less emphasis on air-to-air -air combat. Initially, the Japanese Air Force used F-86Fs for these support duties, later replaced by the Mitsubishi F-1. However, due to the limited lifespan of the F-1, Japan initiated a study for its successor in 1982. By 1985, it became apparent that domestic development of the aircraft was possible, except for the engine. This prompted Mitsubishi and Kawasaki, two Japanese aircraft companies, to begin their indigenous programs. Mitsubishi worked on the JF-210, benefiting from prior experience developing the T-2 CCV research aircraft and possessing a domestic fly-by-wire flight control system. Concurrently, Kawasaki designed an aircraft with a silhouette resembling the F-18 Hornet, but uncertainties regarding air-to-air -air combat capabilities led to evolving specifications and design changes, increasing confusion and costs. Ultimately, Japan realized that the costs for a domestic support fighter would be exorbitant. Direct procurement from abroad was also impractical, as no available fighter met their requirements. In 1986, U.S. companies General Dynamics and McDonnell Douglas offered collaborative development based on the F-16 and F-18, respectively. The Europeans proposed using the Tornado, but fell short in technology transfer and industrial cooperation. McDonnell Douglas suggested a new aircraft based on the F-15, which Japan already used. After careful evaluation, Japan selected the enhanced F-16 variant offered by General Dynamics as the base aircraft. However, new challenges emerged. In the early 1980s, the Reagan administration aimed to strengthen the Western bloc's military capabilities. The U.S. Department of Defense supported Japan's new combat aircraft program, promoting cooperation and technology transfer. Conversely, the U.S. Department of Commerce had contentious dealings with Japan, mainly due to trade imbalances and concerns about technology transfer. Nonetheless, in 1988, the USA and Japan reached an agreement on the Joint Development Program, with detailed discussions continuing for another year. In 1989, the U.S. Congress approved the deal, albeit with restrictions. The manufacturing of the F-2 was shared between Japan and the USA in a 60-40 ratio. Mitsubishi acted as the primary contractor in Japan, with other Japanese companies serving as subcontractors. The engine was produced under license by IIHI. In the USA, General Dynamics led the program, with Lockheed Martin taking over aircraft production facilities in 1993. The F 2 conducted its maiden flight on October 7, 1995, with minor issues during test flights, including microscopic cracks in the main wing structure causing delays. After resolving these problems, the F 2 was officially introduced into the JSDF service in 2000. Initially, 
Japan planned to acquire 141 F-2s, but due to high unit costs, this number was later reduced to 94. Despite its resemblance to the F-16, the F-2 featured numerous detailed differences, including a longer fuselage, improved wings for carrying heavier ordnance, and redesigned vertical stabilizers for better anti-ship missile operations. It also boasted the JPE-1 radar, making it the first production combat aircraft with an active electronically scanned array radar, enhancing its capabilities in anti-ship attacks, ground assaults, and interceptions. To enhance stealth, the F-2 incorporated advanced materials such as carbon fiber reinforced composites and radar absorbent materials. Its three-piece cockpit canopy provided increased durability against bird strikes, making it well-suited for low-altitude ground and maritime strike missions. Additionally, it featured a brake chute, a departure from standard F-16 design. While the F-2 may have drawn inspiration from U.S. designs, Japan also purchased F-35s to complement its capabilities. There are even plans for a new fighter aircraft development program with the UK and Italy joining forces with Japan. This collaboration builds upon the progress made by Team Tempest in the UK, which has been researching and developing future combat air systems since 2018. Japan is moving fastly towards strengthening its air self-defense force, and the creation of Godzilla FX will make it even stronger than before. Let's see when it will soar in the skies. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.